Oh, I'm sorry, I should have gotten X token when I braked. Or when I broke, when I breaketh, breaketh, when I breaketh. First try. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick Murphy, and this is going to be a solo game house of Ark Nova. We've actually done a game house on Ark Nova already, but I really, really wanted to play it solo, and I want to try this new solo variant that's on BGG that was made by Anke79. This is a really, really cool, more robust version of a solo game, and the solo game that's in the rule book is very good, but it's basically just the game you're already playing that's on more or less a timer. I think you have like 27 total turns and you basically have to cross your two scoring at the end of that 27 turns. If you don't, you lose. If you do, yeah, you win. But that's it. You're basically just playing the exact same game, no problem. There's no like AI, there's nothing kind of getting in your way. So Anke79 made a uh, solo variant for Ark Nova called Arno, and Arno is kind of playing the game alongside you. And you can play multiple Arnos. So if you wanted to play a two player game, you could have two Arnos going and have a four player game. It's really, really cool, and I've been really, really wanting to try it. And so I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and play it for a game house, because honestly, I think it's really really, really good. I think it's better than the solo variant in the rule book, and I hope it gets implemented because it's really, really good. So with these solo game houses, we're going to do a full teach of the solo version. So not the entire game. We're not going to teach all of Ark Nova. We're just going to teach about what's different in this solo version. Before we get to that teach, like, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up. Please like it. Please comment down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Honestly, leaving a like is the best way to tell us you're enjoying a video. So as a comment being like, hey, that was cool. You could just say that exact same thing, it'd be great. But enough of all that, let's get Ark Nova down to the table. Let's learn how to play the Arno solo variant. You will set up the game as you would for two players. Your setup will be exactly the same. The Arno will get a basic zoo map in unused player color and will start with one conservation point, one appeal point, and will start on one reputation with you. The Arno will gain their five action cards and they will go down into their action spots with their blue side up. The animal card will go into slot one and the other four will be randomly placed. They will start with one association worker and the other three will go in their normal spaces. Place one scoring card face down on the left side of their zoo mat. Give Arno eight cards and sort them by type. Discard any sponsorship cards and then place the animal cards together and any conservation cards together. Give the Arno a D6 and choose if you're going to play on easy, medium, or hard difficulty. And that concludes the setup. Your gameplay will be exactly the same, but you will be running the Arno, and the Arno can win this game. A couple of notes, Arno will never receive or spend money or X markers, and they will only use the right part of their zoo map. The left part will just hold cards. If uncovered or reached, Arno will receive these bonuses, conservation points, reputation points, card upgrades, and association workers. The Arno will gain animal cards, but these are just used for the tags up top and will trigger your applicable cards. If the Arno gains a sponsorship card, immediately discard it. Arno follows the same rules for you in terms of upgraded cards. For example, they cannot go above 9 reputation if they haven't upgraded their card action. Lastly, the Arno cannot be the target of attack cards like the Anaconda. Use the solo part of these cards when playing with Arno. Okay, that's general Arno stuff, now let's get into how they play. Much of what Arno does is randomize through a die roll. When it's their turn, you will roll a d6 to determine what they do. On a 1 or 6, you will re-roll the die. On a 2, they will do the second card. On a 3, they'll do the third. On a 4, the fourth. And on a 5, the fifth. Once an action is selected, you will carry out the card from top to bottom. If there's an option with slashes, you will do the one based off the difficulty you're playing on. Easy, medium, or hard. I'm going to explain both sides of each action card as we go through them. When doing the card action, if it's on level 1, you will break for 1 and then randomly give the Arno a card. Roll the d6 and give them the card that corresponds to the die roll. Note that Arno can always reach all 6 cards. And then finally, Arno gains 2 appeal. The upgraded card action is the same except Arno gains 2 conservation instead of appeal. When the Arno comes across bonuses on the conservation track, they will roll a d6 to determine which bonus they will get rid of. This is with the exception of the first one. When the Arno gets to this bonus, they will always take the association worker. 
The build action is different depending on which strength the card is at. Arna will either gain one reputation, two, three, or four appeal depending on your difficulty, a random card, or two, three, or four conservation. If upgraded, it's more or less the same, just stronger, except at strength four. In this case, you will place a cube on Arno's notepad, which will gain end game points. The animals card is very simple. Arno will gain appeal where X is equal to the strength it's at, plus more depending on the difficulty. And the upgraded card is just the same, but stronger. The sponsor card will break equal to the strength, and then you will place a cube on Arno's face down end game scoring card. If there are already six cubes on this card when this triggers and the card hasn't been upgraded, Arno will gain two conservation instead. Note that in the game you're about to see me play, I will actually mess up this rule, but it won't make a difference in the end scoring so it all worked out, but just know that you will see me mess this up. If this card is upgraded, Arno will break, then gain appeal, and then place a cube on their notepad instead. The last action card is the association action. When this triggers, Arno will place a worker on the association board unless they have none left, in which case they will do the alternate option. They will either gain two reputation, gain a random partner zoo or university by rolling a d6. Note that just like you, they cannot have two of the same partner zoo or university. And if the card is at strength five, they will do a conservation project. If the Arno has no conservation cards on their zoo map, they will support a project next to the association board that they have not supported yet, and they will choose a project without any of your player tokens if possible. If none exists, they randomly select a project without one of their own tokens, but with at least one free slot. They will then place their cube on the rightmost spot if you're playing on easy difficulty, in the middle if you're on medium, and the leftmost spot if you're on hard. If the correct spot is unavailable, they will take the next spot to the right. If Arno has exactly one conservation card on their map, they will roll a die to determine if they will support that conservation or one that's already out at a 50-50 chance. If they have more than one conservation card, they will support one of theirs and will roll a die to determine which one they support. When they support a conservation project, they will gain conservation and reputation per normal. When placing a worker for Arno, they will never place two of their workers on the same spot. If they would need to, or if they can't place a worker on a space for any reason, they will choose the next higher level wrapping around if needed. The upgraded association card is the same, except they place one worker and then they will donate as well. And that is how the Arno plays. I just want to reiterate that anytime there are multiple choices, you will roll a die to determine what they do, including when they get to upgrade a card. You will roll a die to determine which level one card they will upgrade. Now let's get onto the scoring. As I said, Arno can win this game and they can trigger the end just like you. If you trigger the end game, the Arno will get one last turn. You will score your game normally. You will take two cubes off the Arno's face down scoring card and then they will gain one conservation point for each cube left over. And Arno will receive one conservation point per cube on their notepad. Compare scores normally and the player who has crossed their paths the farthest is the winner. And if you tie, Arno wins. Okay, we're here. We're gonna be playing against the Arno, and if you're curious, Arno, the rules printed out on some printer paper here, is uh, stands for the Artificial Randomized Neutral Opponent. So we're just gonna call him Arnold, because it's got Arno in it. But it's like a name, but Arno is a fun name, nonetheless. But cool, so we're gonna play against the Arnold. Um, yeah, and so we are always first. I already have my starting cards. Arno's got their stuff. We have, a, again, a stack of their like animal cards. We can get tags if we need to. And then they did happen to draw a conservation project. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and start. What do I actually have? What am I? So I have, um, I have a big old moose here. So I hope I can get this herbivores one. And I also have uh, two large animals and I have this lar expert in large animals card. So I should probably try and get all of those things into play. So but although I'm gonna need some pretty big uh, enclosures. So what do we got first? But we don't have any other large animals until this American alligator. So hopefully we'll try and get that. What, what actually, I actually have to check these. What do we got here? We got um, aquatic park, so we want water, and then climbing park, and so we want rocks or water. One of those two things. Okay, okay. So let's go, you know, we got some money. Let's go ahead and build. Let's build a four enclosure just right off the bat because um, we would like to. So we can build anywhere. We're playing on the map zero. I didn't play on any special maps just because like, I just felt like playing, not have to have anything else to think about because we're already going to have to run this. And I have played the Arno before. I won very barely. 
Um, and so uh, we'll see if we can do it again. But nonetheless, so I can start this anywhere. Let's go ahead and start it here. We're gonna go, hmm, boom. No, not like that, not like that, Nick, that's silly. Um, oh, no, 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 not like that, Nick, that's silly. <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna go, gosh, I don't know what to do with this. I wanna get this, okay, let's go this way. I'm gonna get an X token and then 10 bucks. I wanted to get that 10 mostly because we're gonna have to spend eight, so I guess we're not gonna get, spend eight, we'll just get two bucks back because we covered up a 10. Sorry, this is flipped the wrong way. And we also got an X token, which is nice. And then this build is gonna go bam, right like that. I wanted to get that $10 because it's just like, you know, basically means we'd have to pay for this ultimately very expensive enclosure. All right, so now we're gonna see what the Arno is gonna do. Again, they cannot do one. So if we roll a one or a six, we'll have to re-roll. So we got a six, okay. And then a three. So they're gonna do three, they're gonna do sponsor. So they're gonna break X. Again, X equals whatever they rolled or whatever, whatever the strength is. So we're gonna break for three, one, two, three. And then they're gonna place uh, one of their player tokens onto their uh, scoring card. It's face down because it doesn't matter what it is. Um, and if there were already six there, they would start getting conservation on top of putting uh, their player tokens there. So that is their sponsor action, blam. Boom, and that's it. Okay, so now for us, we could probably associate getting, um, you know what are we gonna need? Oh, you know what we're gonna need? We're gonna need some, yeah, we're gonna associate because we're gonna need some science. We're gonna go up here and get the science university, blam. Because I do wanna put in, there's this gorilla field research which is gonna give us two reputation and then one conservation, but we need three science tags for that. So let's go ahead and start getting that uh, early on because that is gonna be necessary. Okay, so that is my turn and we'll see what the Arno here is gonna do. Arnold, three again, association, okay. So it's uh, strength three, which means they're gonna gain a partner zoo. It doesn't really matter when they gain, but now let's just say this is one, two, three, four, five, five. So they're gonna get an African partner zoo, blam. And just like us, they can't have the same of any of the stuff. And so in that case, if they try to get, if they rolled an African zoo again, we would have to roll again to see what they get. But okay, so bam, they got that. And that is easy. Okay, and then for me, I think now I'm gonna play this sponsor card, which is a strength four. And this again uh, is for experts in large animals. And what this means is that every time I play a large animal, um, the cost is reduced by four. The immediate thing is every large animal I've already played to get two appeal. I haven't played any large animals yet, but I figured probably a good thing to do. Although I just realized I actually can't play this moose until I have two other herbivore tags. And there are a, 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 just a cool zero herbivores out there, which is not great. So, and this one we did an Africa tag and they just took, and they just took uh, an African partner zoo. So actually we kind of got, <laughs> we kind of got hose here a little bit. I like this, but nonetheless, we're gonna put that in play because I think we're gonna put in some large aminals regardless. Boom, okay, let's see what the Arno does. Arno is gonna do five. Ooh, so they're gonna do cards. Now this is actually kind of one of the nice ones where the strength of this one doesn't really matter. So they're gonna break for one. And they're gonna take one card from the display, again, one through six. Let's see, they're gonna get five. They're gonna get this Gould's monitor. Thank you, Gould, for discovering that monitor, I assume. Um, I, I doubt this monitor specifically is named Gould, and the other one's named like Jennifer. Jennifer, Jennifer is a great name for a monitor, I'm not gonna lie. And then we get appeal plus two, and they're gonna get boom, and they start, their second place, they start on uh, two appeal there. Okay, cool. That's actually not a horrible one. Like animals on five, something like that, that's ones where you don't want Arnold to roll that. That gets real rough. Okay, so I guess we're gonna do cards, because it's already in our five spot. Oops, needing one here. And we just, um, we need some, some new cards. I, I again, I'm, I feel so silly that like I grabbed this thinking that like, oh yeah, I'm gonna put, put this moose into play. Uh, you sure won't, Nick. <laughs> you sure won't, Nick. Um, okay, so we're gonna draw just off the top of the deck. We're gonna draw three. I could snap, but snapping won't really help me right now. I mean, I guess I could snap up that American alligator and put it into this one, which would give me seven, which would give me seven appeal which would be good and it is next to water you know let's go ahead and do that instead of drawing three cards it's probably silly 
but let's go ahead and snap this American Alamigator. Boom, because we already can put them in to play. We have enough money. We'll just go ahead and do that since we were silly and bought and, <laughs> and took in a moose that we can't place anywhere. Silly moose. Um, okay. Arno's doing six. Roll again. Six. Roll again. Four. Oh, okay, so they're going to do animals. So animals just give them straight up appeal, kind of like when we put in animals, it gives us appeal. Same thing. We're playing on medium. Um, and so there is a they're gonna get appeal X, which is the strength, in this case, four plus one. So they're gonna get five appeal. They have three, they're going up to eight. They tend to move quick at the beginning of the game. We, we catch up, but the last game I played, I think by the second turn, Arnold was already at like five conservation by the second turn. They just happened to roll things that gave him conservation. I immediately was like, oh no, this is gonna be bad. But I actually ended up winning the game. So it's not the end of the world, but they, they tend to, to blitz early on in the game. You're kind of like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? But we vibe, you know. Okay, so now I guess we'll play animals. I don't have two animals to play, so I'll just play the one even though it's in the five spot. We are gonna play this um, American Alamigator. So this is really, originally gonna cost us 18 bucks, but because we have expert in large animals, it's actually only gonna cost us 14, which is great. Um, so let's go ahead and get that one, two, three. 14, boom, um, and that will go into here. It has to be next to water. We do have that. I mean, again, one of these needs to be next to water, so maybe we'll try and do this one. If we can get some other stuff next to water, this uh, uh, embodiment of America, <laughs> bald eagle, uh, all seems to be next to water, although we need a we need an animal level two, so let's, let's be honest, that's probably not gonna happen. Um, but it's something to think of. Okay, so that, uh, alligator is in here. We can gain any one card from the display. Ooh, the science museum is a good one. That's one where anytime you put a, a science tag in your zoo, you get a conservation, which is great. And we need four science tags to put it in, but we already need three science tags for this one. And once we put this one in, then we'll have four because this one has a science tag. So let's do that one because we are going to need some conservation. And we can snap this, right? Gain any one card from the display. Yep. Blam. A thorny devil. And then we're going to get seven appeal. Jealous, Arnold? Probably not. Okay. Bam. Blam. 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 Deal with it. Okay. Arnold. Six, oh, we're rolling sixes, two. Okay, that's great. So they're gonna do cards, they're gonna break for one, blam. They're gonna get two appeal, blam. And then they're gonna get any card from the display. They're gonna get this adventure playground. So they never take sponsor cards, so this will just get discarded. They never, ever, ever take sponsor cards. So blam. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, um, the board up here, I decided to put the starter conservation projects over here in any conservation projects that I or Arnold adds. We'll just go over here. I did that because you're supposed to put it on top and bottom of this board, but to do that, I would have to have the camera zoomed out a bunch more to fit it. So I decided to just do this instead. So just know that these are the starting conservation projects. Any ones that we add will go over here because this game, frankly, is a table hog. <laughs> this board is too big. It's just too big. I'm sorry. But nonetheless, just wanted to point that out in case anyone was confuzzled. Okay, so we did that, they gained that, and that was a cards action, so this is gonna go blam, just like that. Okay, we're getting close-ish to a break. I wouldn't mind a break, because I want to get my um, my worker back. Yeah, I would really like to get my worker back. Um, and I don't entirely know what to do right now. I know I'm gonna need another four pen, so should I just do that? Yeah, let's just do that. Oh, did I break for two when I did this? I honestly don't remember if I did. We're just not gonna do it because I don't remember if I did. I don't think I did. I don't know, I don't know. We'll shame me in the comments if I didn't. So we're gonna, we're gonna um, build, we're gonna build another four enclosure. Now this one does have to go uh, next to something that already exists. Um, let's just go here and get another X token. Blam. And that's gonna cost us eight buckarunos, which is the official currency here, as we all know. Boom, eight buckarunos. Blam. Okay. Arnold. Oh God, that went farther than I expected. Three. 
What are you doing for three, Arnold? Association. Okay, so now they don't have any workers to do for association. So in this case, there's always an alternative on the bottom of the card. Basically means if they can't do something, they'll just do this. So in this case, they're gonna get two conservation, they're gonna break for two. So break for two and they're gonna get two conservation. In this case right here, they will always take the one that gives them an extra worker. So now they have an extra worker, but that's too late, yeah but. And then once we get to these ones, they will just randomly choose one of those two. But this case, they always take the worker because association actions is, is where the, R, the uh, RNO is particularly strong. Okay, so they couldn't do that because they had no workers, so that is that. For me, I kind of don't, okay, let's do this. Let's do cards because we will break for sure this time. And then we'll grab some cards. I am gonna have to discard some stuff. Is there anything I wanna particularly snap? I don't think so. So let's just grab three and see what we get. Are there any herbivores? We're definitely not doing this. Well, it's another water spot. So this one is anytime a research icon is played into any zoo gain two bucks. That's always a good card. I am gonna have to discard down to three cards right now. So I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping any of these. So let's just keep, sir. Uh, let's just get rid of this one right now. Okay, so the first thing I have to discard down to three cards. I don't wanna get rid of these two cards because they're gonna be uh, very good. Should I just get rid of this dang moose considering it's probably gonna, I didn't draw any more. Oh, I feel so silly that I didn't draw any, um, I didn't draw any, yeah, let's get rid of this moose. I, it's gonna, I think it's gonna take me a while to get those herbivores right now. As much as I want it for this, it's just gonna take me too dang long. So then I need to get rid of something else. I do wanna keep these, now let's get rid of this. And then this one is every time research icon is played in my zoo. The problem is like I have like a lot of pretty high end sponsors cards. And so it's gonna take me a while to put all these in play. So let's just do that and hold on to this colored manga bee. Okay, so there's that. Um, we're gonna replace this African partner zoo. And then this university will get our workers back. Boom, these two cars will go away. Goodbye tortoise. Bam, 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 bam. Ooh, look at that domestic goat. Very cute. Yeah, still no herbivores. Okay, I feel better about getting rid of that now. <laughs> okay, let's do, I have no income or anything like that right now. Blam, 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 blam. They never get any income or anything anyway. Okay, so now we're back. So I caused that break. So it's gonna be Arnold's turn. Five. So they're gonna do, uh, ooh, strength five. So they're just gonna get, ooh, so this is one of the ones where their strength is better. They're doing a build action. We're playing on medium. So they're just gonna get three conservation points. Blam, blam, blam. This is gonna be one through three. This is gonna be four through six. Five, they're taking this one. And by that, I mean, it just goes away. Oof, rough. Yeah, look how much conservation they already have. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Okay. We got this, everything's fine. Everything fine, everyone calm down, please. Please, calm y'all setups. We're gonna associate. I think we need one more science tag to do all of these things. As much as I need to get an African partner zoo, we need science tags more right now. So we're gonna associate here and we're gonna grab this university. Ooh, we're gonna get a flip a card. And we're gonna get two, um, another science tag and then we get two blam, blam, we get two reputation. What card do we wanna flip? The association card's always nice to flip. Um, the build card might be nice considering we can then build a, oh, I never got, I'm sorry, I never got my uh, income. I should get 11 bucks. I said I had no income, I lied. Um, so, oof. Getting the build action would be nice because I could build a reptile house which I could put this American alligator in. And actually I could have put this other the crocodile in there too. Um, cards is always really nice too because then we can grab up to our reputation level. Let's go ahead and do this. We have, again, kind of high-end-ish sponsor cards. Let's do the sponsor one. Also, because if we break, we can get a ton more money. That also needs to go there. Okay, we're gonna do that, that's great. 
Um, and we just did the association action. Yeah. Okay, sweet. All right, Arnold, what are you doing? Do we move this? We didn't move this, hold on. Two, you're gonna do two. So you're gonna be end up doing association. So now you have two. So strength two, they're just gonna get two reputation. They're actually not gonna put out their, their card. Oh, I'm sorry, I moved them. Now we're both here actually, sorry, I'm used to being yellow. Uh, so that's what they're gonna do. Oh, I'm sorry, they, what am I doing? They place this here. You're silly, Nick. You're being very, very silly. Again, it's just, it's just a lot to, <laughs> that's why I didn't want to do the harder map, because it's kind of a lot to track. Okay, boom, there we go. That's how they get that two reputation, Nick. That's how this game works. Okay, let's go ahead and do sponsor. We're gonna do this sponsorship right here, which is Gorilla Field Research. We need three science tags. We have one, two, three. We are good to go there. This is gonna give us two more reputation. Ooh, bam, we can flip another card and one conservation. Jealous, Arnold. Oh, so we can flip another card. Oh, should we flip this one now, especially because we're getting there? Yeah, let's go ahead and do this, because now we can draw cards from our reputation range. So we can basically draw from here over, which is pretty darn sweet. Um, which is pretty darn sweet. So let's do that. That's great. Okay. So now... Awesome. Okay, Arnold. What are you doing, Arnold? Let's do this. Five. Ooh, break five, because break X. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Oof. And Arnold places one of their tokens on their final scoring card, and that's all that the sponsor action does for them. Okay. Now what to me, what to me, I, I do kind of need another worker, but I can't really get one right now. Um, and so what is that one? It requires different animal category icons in your zoo. Okay, so I, I'm not gonna be able to do that one right now. I have no birds and I have like no herbivores. I am not, and I also have no um, conservation cards. So I'm kind of in a weird spot where I really want another worker <laughs> so I can associate again, but I can't. And I also can't play these. So, Lordy, I think I'm gonna have to break, to uh, get cards. We're gonna break for two. We're in the three spot, so I can just draw two cards. I can draw from here. Let's do... Um, let's, do let's do this playground, this little playground, and then let's do this thorny devil. Because this playground needs to be placed next to a water spot, which will help with one of our final scoring cards. Um, sponsorship elephants, oh, that's so cute. Um, another thing for herbivores, and there's still no herbivores. Boo, boo, boo urns. Okay, so that was our cards. All right, Arnold. One, reroll, three. Building. So level three, they're gonna get uh, three appeal. One, two, three, done. Bye. Easy. Okay, so. For this one, unless this one was four appeal, that's nice. And we already, actually, you know, we're already at association three. We're just gonna do this one right here. I'm oh, sorry, not association, sponsors, but sponsors are always plus one. So now we can put in this three, even though this is at a two. This has to go next to a water space. We're gonna put in a little, a little water playground, which is V cute. V cute. Is that that? Nope. Eh, where is it? Where is it? Is that it? Hey. All right, so this has to go next to a water space. Let's go ahead and tuck this just, ooh, yeah, let's just tuck it right down here. We can get a card up to our um, reputation limit. So we're gonna tuck this right here because it has to be next to water, so we're right here, we're good to go. I wanna get this card, this little burb, because we could get burbs here. Also, if Arno puts out this one right here, we also could do that one, which would be good. So having burbs is nice. And then this right here is just gonna give us four peel, which is very good, blam, okay. Uh, that was sponsor. Back to the end for you. Okay. Arnold. 
Three. Associations. They're going to place their other one. So strength three is they're going to gain a partner zoo. They cannot gain Africa. So we're just going to gain one, two, three, four. And we'll just roll until we get something. Two. So they're going to gain a European partner zoo. They're going to get to flip a card now. Ooh. Um, hold on. Let me forgot to do this. They're going to flip a card. So they have one through five. So we're just going to roll a die until we get something. Four. So they're going to flip their cards action. So now their cards action is they break for one per normal. They take a card from the display per normal um, randomly, but then they also now just get conservation plus two, which is rough. <laughs> so hopefully they don't do that. I would love it if you didn't. Um, okay, so they're going to flip that. And also to do like to move up to here, they don't need to have like this association card flipped over. They just can do it because the AI gets to do whatever they want. Um, okay, so that was their association. They did that. Blam, 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 blam. Um, should I just break again so I can get my pawn back? Yeah, let's just do it. We're going to do another cards. We're going to break for two. Um, and then I can draw two cards. Archaeologist, each time you get the placement bonus of a border space in your zoo, gain another free placement bonus. Interesting. I can draw two cards and I have to discard one? I'm going to have to discard down to three cards right now, aren't I, huh? You know, let's do... We got kind of a plan here. Let's do those two cards. We're going to have to discard one now, so let's see... Although we're going to have to discard... Excuse me, sir? Sir? Miss? We're going to discard uh, down to three. We really need to get this university because it's killing us now. We're definitely getting rid of this thorny devil because I don't think we need it. I still don't want to get rid of this one. Um, I kind of want this one. Although, yeah, there's... Uh, nah, probably not. Yeah, let's just get rid of these two cards that we just picked up. I just realized because I do want to keep this bird and I've had I've had this... Um, Call it Mega the whole time, and I have a spot to put them, and so let's just let's just do it. So we got those cards, we had to immediately get rid of them. That's fine. We live, we vibe. Okay. So down to three cards we go. Let's get another um, one of these universities. Let's get another European partner zoo. Give you back your twerkers. Give me a twerker back. Um also, I caused this, so I'll get an X token. Uh, we'll get rid of these two cards. I was thinking about starting to go like heavy petting zoo because there were kind of a, a, a couple petting zoo animals out. And I decided not to, which is probably a silly. Okay. So now we'll get our income. I still have no other income, but I will get 13 bucks. I didn't really spend any money that last round, which is kind of good, actually because now we're going into this round where I think I will get to spend some money, um, and we're going into it with some money, which is nice. We also have four X tokens, so we should probably like use those. Okay, that's it. Let's set this back to here. Blam, 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 blam. Arnold. Okay, it's a six, two instead. So two, they're gonna build. They're just gonna get reputation plus one. Blam, that's it. Keep rolling twos. Twos are great, <laughs> because then your stuff is not that strong. Okay, we can associate for three. Let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna use our one worker here. Let's get an African partner Zeus. We can finally put in this collared manga bee. Blam. Ooh, that's great, finally. Man, we're getting a slow start here, but we're, 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 we're doing it, we're vibing. Okay, so that's that, that's that, that's that. Great. Arnold, one, nothing. Two, again, yes, yes, two reputation. Um, ooh, they're gonna get to uh, flip another card. There. Okay, so they can't do this one, so it'll be one, two, three, or five. One, oh gosh, where were they? God, I hope they were there. So they're gonna flip their association here. So now, basically, when they associate, they will also start to donate, which is nice. I hope those were in the right spot. I just hit them. I have no idea if they were. Oh, well. Okay, so back to me. Let's go ahead and play animals, and we are finally, hold on. Do I have enough money to do both of these is my question. 
So I will need $30, oh, not even $30. I need 24, oh, I think I can. Let's build first. I think I can build both these in one turn because my animals is at, is at five. So let's build one of these. Ooh, yeah, let's do this. We're gonna go here. We're gonna build it right here. We're gonna get this, uh, we get a card based off a of reputation. We're gonna get this shoe built. And that is because that's another bird. Maybe we, we might start moving into birds because we can get a conservation project up there with some birds, which is pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, an emu. I had an emu last time and that was a very cool card. Okay, so that was my build. That's gonna cost us six bucks because we, oh, do I have enough money? <gasps> no, I don't have enough money. Hold on. Oh, silly Nick. Do I see you not have my, oh, I'm literally $1 short. Ah, uh, cause I will need 24 bucks to do this. Oh, stars and stripes. All right, well, we did it. It's our life now. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I'm one dollar short. That's so annoying. Oh gosh, I'm just hitting these. Uh, three, it's gonna be sponsors are gonna break for three, one, two, three. And then they'll place one of their tokens on their scoring card. Okay, so stars. I mean, I, oh, I'm so annoyed. I want to play two animals. I need 24 because it's cost me 30 bucks total, but I have an African partner zoo. So I am going to get three bucks off of each one. And that is just... Hey everyone, editor Nick here. I just want to point out something I'm actually doing wrong. In this situation, I actually can play both of these animals because I forget that I had the sponsor card I first put in the game, which was the big animal specialist. And that is one where if an animal is four or five size in terms of their enclosure, I actually get a $4 discount. So I actually do have enough money to put that collared Maccabee into play, but I forget that. So I just want to let you know that actually in this situation I could, but in this situation I forgot that card exists and so I end up doing other stuff first. But when I do eventually put this card into play, don't worry, I also forget that time. So just to let you know, I could actually play this right now. Just wanted to pop in and say that. Oh, you know what? Let's do this first. Okay, we'll do this first. Okay, we're gonna sponsor. We're gonna put in this one right here. This one requires four science tags. We have one, two, three, four. Um, and now each time we play a research icon in our zoo, we'll gain one conservation, which is great. We get one right now. Great, ooh, ooh. Oh, do we get a worker or do we flip a card? If we don't flip a card here, we will only get to flip one more card. Now nah, let's get a worker. We need, we need to get another worker. We just absolutely have to. Um, we need to be able to associate more. So now this one right here though, has an instant effect is when you Put it in for every science tag you have, you get two bucks. And we have one, two, three, four, five. So we're actually gonna get 10 bucks right now, which is gonna allow us to do the thing we need to, which is great. Cause I was thinking about breaking with this one and just getting money, but we actually got money from that. That is perfect. Okay, let's see what you do here. Three, again, man, we're just skirting these pink ones. So three is a build. So they're gonna get three appeal. One, two, three. Yeah, let's not hit their big cards. Let's not hit the big cards. <laughs> let's not do that. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so now we'll do animals and now we're gonna play both these animals. Again, they're gonna cost 20 bucks for this one. It has to go into a four. So we'll put this into this four here. And then 10 bucks for this one it has to go into a three. We'll put them into the three here. Um, but they are both African animals and we have an African partner zoo. So it's gonna be three bucks less of each of these. So it's gonna be a total of 24 uh, doll hairs. And then we'll put them into our zoo. So this one also requires us to have an Africa tag, which we do now. So that's gonna get us eight appeal. Ooh, bam. And then after finishing the current action, we may perform the cards action. Ooh, okay. That's nice. And then this one is going to give us four appeal. 
Bam. And then shuffle the discard pile and draw two cards from it. Add one to your hand and discard the other. Okay, let's do that real quick. Let's do that real quick. Yeah, that's nice. And then this bird here, this Matabu, can go into a aviary. So yeah, I don't know. I think we're only gonna get to flip one more card, but we can't build an aviary unless we do flip the build card. And I just, I don't know if that's more important than getting the uh, association action flipped, which is also very nice. Ooh, oh, let's do this one because we gave this one earlier, but this is also one where you, if you play research icons, you now um, get two bucks, which is actually quite nice. Um, oh, oh, we can do this conservation project because we now have three. Ooh, if we can get a fourth one, that'd be great. Okay, that's great. And then now we can perform the cards action because of our collared manga bee. So our card action is here, so we'll get to break for two. And then, oh, we can take up to, oh, we can snap from here. You know what? I think I might snap this card because I'll gain one uh, conservation for every five different animal categories. We already have three. I think we'll probably hopefully get two more. And then we also get appeal and conservation when we build this. So I'm just going to snap this card. Snap it up. Bam. Ooh, birds. Lots of birds coming out again. Okay. Okay, so that was my animal's turn. That was great. That was a good turn. And then finally, we filled in some stuff here. All right, what you doing? Arnold, two. Break for two, blam, and then they're going to place one of these here. So we're going to start getting conservation for this one pretty darn uh, soon here. Okay, and then for me, for Nick Murphy, Nick Murphy, your host, Nick Murphy the legend, we'll say. Yeah. Um, Okay, so now we have another thing we can associate. Ooh. Let's go ahead and blam. Let's go ahead and get this last university because it's gonna give us two conservation, blam, and it's gonna push our reputation up one, bam. Uh, that's great. So now we have all our universities done and now we can have five cards in hand at the end of the round, at the, whenever we break rather. And that's very useful. All right, Arnold, three. Oh, this one, okay. So now with the association action, they're also gonna be donating, which is a bummer. So now three, they're gonna gain a partner zoo. They already have Europe and Africa. So it's gonna be one, two, three. Nope, one. So they're gonna get a North, or the Americas rather, partner zoo. They're also gonna gain another one of their workers. Oof, now they have three. Actually, I guess, I guess one of these goes here. Uh, bummer. And then they're also going to donate. So they're going to take the top spot here and then they're going to get a conservation. They haven't been running conservation quite as much as they were last game, which is good. But I also feel like, I feel like we're not doing much, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. So that was that. And then now on to me. So sponsor, should we just do, hmm. Yeah, let's just do, we're gonna do a sponsor action. We're gonna do this one right here, which is guided school tours. Um, we will gain a conservation. We'll go ahead and just take this, these three X tokens. We have a ton of X tokens. We can afford to use these right now. Like a billion X tokens, holy crap. Um, and then we'll also get one appeal, blam, which is great. Just for that. Also, we have a science icon. Oh, we should have done this one first. Oh, well, it's too late. We have a science icon, so we'll gain another conservation. Yeah, we definitely should have done this one first. Oh, well. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. I lied. That's on the last one. You're silly, Nick. You're silly. Never mind. That's on that card, not this card. We stack them like that. They, they, start, to, they start to meld together. Okay. All right, what's Arnold going to do? Four. So they are now going to do their upgraded cards. So they're going to break for one. They're going to randomly take a card from here. They're going to take four, which is going to be this one. The cute little Indian rhinoceros. Um, and then they'll get conservation plus two. Oof. All right, so we one through three, four through six, 
four through six. I, w I would rather have had this one because this one's not going to be worth anything to me, which is a bummer. All right, whatever. All right. Oh, they hit two of their upgraded cards in a row. It's a, that's a bummer. Okay, for me, I could build. This one only takes a one, which is really not bad. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and build. Let's build. Let's go build a little one fur. Seems like kind of a waste, but you know, whatever. Um, okay, and then Bard. Each time you play a bird icon to your zoo, draw two cards from the deck and shoot. Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to put this here. And we're going to go blam. Get that card because we can get a card up to our reputation. Okay, man, there's, we should have gotten, yeah, we should have gotten some petting zoos going because, man, we could have had a dumb appeal. Okay, and that's going to cost us two bucks. We do kind of need a break to happen soon-ish because we are running out of money. Three. Well, they're going to break for three. So there you go. And then they're going to get another one on their scoring card. Ooh, they're going to start getting they're going to start getting conservation for that. Yeah, I feel like they're going to start. I feel like they're going to start boogieing up that conservation track here. Okay. So now we need to discard down to five. We're a fine. We will get our workers back, as will Arnold. Um. And then we're not going to put on Africa Zoo because neither one of us can take it, but we will put out an America's Zoo. And then we'll put out a new university. Okay. Okie dokie. So. Hmm. 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 So it's back to me. Hmm. Let's, oh, I need to get my income. I keep forgetting to do that. Oh, we need to get rid of these. Nicholas, you're not done with this yet. What are you doing? What are you doing with your life here? Ah, man, I think I might start getting some petting zoo animals. I feel like we just, man, I'm, I'll tell you right now, I'm glad we got rid of that moose card because we would, would have been waiting forever to get some uh, herbivores. There are none that come out. That's one thing, like, a lot of people complain about, like, the card drawing in this game. It doesn't really bother me because to me it's like pretty easy to pivot because like if you put in a bird, you're like, oh man, I'm trying to get more birds and they just don't come up. Like it's not hard to pivot in my opinion. It's kind of like, oh, I'm just gonna start doing this now. Like I'm kind of like, man, there's a lot of petting zoo animals out. There's some more that came out in there. There's some more I know in there. I'm like, okay, maybe I'll start doing petting zoos. They're pretty easy to do. So to me, it's like not a big deal, but you know, that's just me. Um, Nick out here throwing shade. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead. We're going to spend an X token to make our sponsor action a three, and we can do a three plus one. We're going to do this one finally. So this one, one gives us a research icon, which is going to give us a conservation. And then this one is for every research icon that's played into any zoo, gain two bucks, which is great. And then right away... Every research icon I have gains me an appeal. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six appeal. It's a mad six appeal, you know what I'm saying? Bam. Okay. That's great. Okay, so that one's in now. Okay, that's good. We have a good, like, kind of science tag engine a going, which is good. All right, what's Arnold? Dip. One. Three again. Oh man. Okay, they're gonna gain another partner zoo. So they can't they can only take Australia or Asia. So we'll say Australia. Australia is one through three, Asia is four through six. Okay, so they're gonna gain an Asian partner zoo. Boom, and they're gonna get two more conservation. And they are full up. So in this case, if they rolled another three here again, they would instead just do the next thing higher. Um, they have, I think I wrote that four times. Wow. And then they will also donate because they always donate now and they'll get another conservation. Oh, we need to pick a card. I haven't really done either of these cards. I'm not going to lie, fam. Neither one of these cards has been very opportunistic for me. Um, I guess we've done one of these, so we will do that. We still need another one to score it, though, even. So uh, we will see if we score that, because I don't really know. But okay, that's now our life. Okay, so we'll try and do that. We've done <laughs> one. Hilarious. Okay, okay. So that was 
That was them. They just got another partner zoo. Okay, and they're maxed out on that. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, so animals is here. Let's go ahead and put in this shoe bill. It's gonna go in this little one spot, cute. Um, it takes two research tags, we have plenty. And this one just gives us a conservation and three appeal. So we're gonna go one, two, three. We have been, we're, we're doing good on appeal. And then one conservation, blam. Um, and that's gonna cost us nine bucks. We don't have nine bucks. Oh, you know, God, yet again, Nicholas, you forgot to get your dang, oh my gosh, we get, need 20 bucks. I forgot to get my dang um, income again. But nonetheless, this is actually only six because we do have an Afri Africa tag, so that's not too bad. But Nicholas, remember to get your money. You need money in this game, you silly man. Okay, and that goes in there. We got our conservation, we got our appeal. Okay. Let's see what they do now. Five. Ooh, they're gonna. Oh, I, I should. I should have talked. They're gonna get six appeal now. Douche. Because they get appeal equal to their strength plus one. So bam, they just they just halved that gap. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. That animal card has been sitting there for a minute though. Okay. Well, we could associate again. We probably should, considering it's just kicking it there. Yeah, let's associate. We're gonna go ahead and get a partner zoo. There's not really anything specific. I really want, I guess we'll get Australia because maybe we can get another Australia tag and get this emu. So now here's the thing though, is we have to flip over another card. We're not gonna do animals. I never flip over animals. I feel like it's never worth it. Compared to the other ones you can do, I feel like animals is by far the least worth it. Maybe someone out, out there is like, no, it's really good. I've never felt the need to. I think all the other cards flipping them is very, very useful. Animals is like, eh, it's okay. <laughs> you can put out more animals, I suppose. But yeah, it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should just do it someday. So now the thing is, do we flip our association, which will allow us to donate? Although the main reason I would, I would want to is so I can donate. But at this point, I feel like Arno is going to take all those donation spots so you know what, I think we're gonna flip a build. I think we're gonna flip a build. Ooh, that might be a bad idea, but we're gonna go for it. We're doing it, we're living this life. Okay, so that was association. Oh, you know what though, hold on. If we don't flip association, we cannot get any more, we can't get any more um, partner zoos, which would give us another worker and two more conservation if we got to the top, which is really, really, really useful. Which is really, really useful. But if we don't build, we can't get a large aviary and we can't get a large reptile house. I don't know if that's like debilitating. Oh, we should probably get association. Yeah, let's get association. Mm, oh, I don't know, I don't know. All right, we're going with this. Association is hard to beat. I'm mostly because I, I want to be able to get up to here. I just want to be able to get up to here. Oof, okay. All right, no, four. Ooh, break. Oh, man. Break one. Ram takes a card. One. Oh, let's take the emu. I was planning on getting this emu, but now that solves that problem. I am now glad I didn't do the build action <laughs> because this emu is cool because they give you a large aviary right when you build them. They, they can't go in aviary themselves, and they take a five enclosure to build to be put in. So they're pretty tough to put in, but once you do, you immediately get a large aviary and it's great. But I'm glad I didn't choose build now because I was like, okay, I'm gonna do build, I'm gonna get this emu, and then we'll put the emu in and we'll get a large aviary, and now I'm really glad we didn't do that <laughs> because that whole plan would've been gone. That whole plan. Okay. We are living a life. Oh, and they get two conservation too. <laughs> Stars. Okay, what are we doing now? Well, we have no animals. We probably should get some animals. <laughs> um, well, that'll be one, two, ooh, yeah, okay, here. Here's, here's, here's our life, fam. We're gonna do cards. We're gonna break for two, blam. We can get four cards, we'll have to discard one. We're gonna go blam, blam, blam and blam, mostly because I want these two petting zoos because I think we're gonna do a petting zoo. 
And then getting this bird is like, it's pretty big. It's a fiver, but it would give us, we have three bird tags. We're planning on putting this in. It would give us four bird tags, which means we could do this one, which would be pretty, yeah, no, this is definitely, this is definitely the play. All right, and then we're gonna go Blam. Expert on the Americas. We well, don't have any American, uh, North or South American animals anywhere. So I don't know if we're gonna play that card. We'll discard one card, actually, we'll discard that one. Sorry, friend. But I don't think we're doing any America's zoos right now. Ooh, a bunch of reptiles all of a sudden. Ooh, release one animal with an Africa icon in the world, in the, back into the wild. We could be able to do that. We have three, and one of them's a four, which means we could get a lot. Ooh, we should prioritize that card. My fam, we should prioritize that. Okay, okay, now we kinda got a plan. We're gonna put this card in, we have these things to do. We kinda got, we kinda got a plan here, which uh, feels nice. <laughs> Arno, five. Ooh, they're gonna get three conservation. Oh man, they're blitzing, one, two, three. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't like you. Okay, cards, blam, 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 clams. Okay. Okay, I think we're gonna do a sponsor action. We're gonna use an X token to make it up to a five, and it's in this case a six because it's flipped over. We're gonna play this Bard Owl Hunt. So each time I play a bird icon into my zoo, I'll draw two cards from the deck. And I'll uh, discard, keep one and discard the other. So that's actually gonna be very nice. It also gives us another uh, bird tag. And we have to find that little birdie bird bird. Where are you, you stupid bird? Nailed it. And this has to go somewhere in our zip. Where in our zip will we lack this? This will allow us to put something back at number one. Do I want to do that? Um, man, all these are kind of in awkward spaces. Yeah, everything here is kind of in a weird spot. Oof. Yeah, I don't love. Let's just go here because we have enough X tokens. And I don't think we'll need that. Also, we could put a little two for there if we need it. Okay. Nope, not that one. Arnold, what are you doing? Three. I think we rolled three a billion times. But on mediums, they're gonna get three. They're gonna four appeal. One, two, three, four. They're catching up on appeal. They're catching up on appeal, and they are crushing us in, uh, in, um, oof, in that. Okay. So now let's go ahead and build, yeah, let's build, and let's go ahead, we're gonna build a petting zoo, which is gonna cost us six. Um, boom, we're gonna get four back. Okay, we're kind of low on money. We kind of need to break here at some point. Okay, so boom, and we're gonna build a little petting zoo, very cute. And let's build this. Ooh, let's build it right here. We'll kind of straddle this little lake and that's gonna give us two more reputation for covering that up. We're gonna go boom, boom, we get one more worker. Ooh, nice. And then, okay, that's great. And that's gonna cost us six, we paid that, boom. And that's nice because we have two, um, two animals that can go in petting zoos right now, which is good. All right, Arnold, six. One, four, ooh. Okay, they're gonna gain a partner university. Man, the first one. Uh, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, three, four, blam. Uh, and they will donate, and that's why I didn't do that too much, because I was like, I think they're just gonna be donating a ton, although I should try and donate next time I do it. Oh, it's 10 bucks now, though. Oh man, they're getting so much observation. <laughs> I need to do other things first. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba boom. Boo 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 bam. Boo 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 boo. This is a Jurassic Park Nick. Okay, I need 14. Do I have 14 bucks? I do have 14 bucks. Okay, let's do this animal. Build two animals. We're gonna build a Mangalica and then a Bennett's Wallaby because these both can go into our petting zoo, which is grand. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one first. This is gonna go into our petting zoo. We're gonna go, boop, you're right there, you little cutie. Like kind of like hairy pigs, very cute. So digging, choose 
up to one. Discard one card from the display and replenish or discard one card from your hand to draw one from the deck. I don't think I'm gonna do that. Discard one card from the display. Um, let's get rid of you, Wolf. Sorry, love you, but get out of here. And then replenish, ooh. Ooh, income gain three. Ooh, this would be useful for us to have as well because we have a lot of bird icons. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then that, and they'll gain three appeal for each petting zoo animal icon in your zoo. We have one, so we'll gain three appeal. One, two, three. Then we're gonna play this uh, Bennett's Wallaby. So we can place one card from our hand under this card to gain two appeal. I don't think we're gonna do that because I do wanna play this card. We'll gain three for each petting zoo animal. We now have two, so we'll gain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so your petting zoo animals can stack, can really, really stack. We also now have four animal icons, which means we can get the top one of, or not the top, I guess the middle one of this. We also have three bird icons. Once we put in this one, we'll have four and we can do this one. That's gonna get us a lot of appeal, which is gonna be great. Um, Cause we're gonna need that. And that was 14 bucks to put both of those into play. Boom, okay, yeah, we really need a break here. Three. Well, they're gonna get a break. Random take a card from the display. Don't take the card I need. Okay, that's fine. Um, I was scared. I was like, don't take this card, please. It's gonna be another big hit of uh, it's be another big hit of conservation for your boy. Um, oh yeah, we got a lot of bird stuff. A lot of bird stuff in this game, and they get two more conservation. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Okay, that's my animals. I did that. Okay, so now I have one dollar. We need, yeah, we need other stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and associate. Ooh, should I just, yeah, let's do this now. I'm gonna associate, and we're gonna do a conservation project because we have one, two, three, four different animal category icons in our zoo, which is going to allow us, ooh, ooh. Ooh, interesting. I I'm was gonna allow us to get three conservation. I'm trying to figure out which one of these. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no, we're good. We're gonna go, let's do the one where we get conservation every, oops, excuse me, every, uh, as an in income phase, because that's gonna be huge. So that's gonna be three, one, two, three. For this one, we'll just get the five bucks because we literally can't take any universities. So we'll just get five bucks, which is great. Okay, great, awesome. Okay, we're on the board. First con first conservation effort that happened. Okay, let's go Arnold. Four, it's gonna be appeal. They're gonna get five appeal. And every time I get more, I'm like, well, at least I'm winning an appeal. Not by lot that much. Okay, you know what I might do? I still can't do much. Let's go ahead and do the, no, let's go ahead and do one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and spend one break token and we're gonna do sponsors and we're gonna make it a five essentially. So we can go one, two, three, four, five and we're gonna get uh, 10 bucks for that because now you get two bucks per uh, strength that this was. And then we'll go into a break because we just, we really just kind of need, we need it, we need it. Okay, so we're gonna refill this, get these back. Boom, um, and then what, so that university can't be out there anymore. We need another Australian zoo and another Asian zoo, okay. Okay, ba 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 ba, we're gonna get rid of these. Oh, I was gonna get that sloth bear, but oh well. Oh well, okay, I need to get that. That is like priority unt. Uh, yeah, that's like very high priority is getting that uh, release an animal back into Africa because we can get a lot of conservation for doing so. So please, please, please do not take that card, Arno. Okay, now we're gonna get our income. We're gonna get $23 from here, which is great. And then now we get another conservation for our income here, which is great. Anything purple is that income. 
They don't do anything. We did that, we did that, we did that. Okay. Two. Associating. Okay, so they are going to get two more uh, reputation. Uh, boom, boom. Okay, and then they're also going to donate to this last spot here and get one more conservation. Oh, okay, everything's fine. Oh, I'm sorry, I actually got an X token when I braked. Or when I broke, when I breaketh, breaketh, when I breaketh. First try. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have another cube in here for my extra animal. Um, Okay, so we have, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do cards because we just, we're gonna need to grab some cards. So it's strength five, so we can grab five cards. Let's go ahead and grab you. Ooh, yeah, one, two, three. Finally, another herbivore. It took this long, I think, to get another herbivore out here. Wow. Three, and we'll go four and five. And we'll have to discard, I'm sorry, not four and five. Four, and then we'll have to discard one. Okay, uh, another bird we can get. Because my thing is I have three bird icons. I would love to get to five because then I can put my thing on the top spot there, which would be great. So I have to discard one of these. This one would be useful, but I just don't know if I need this now. And uh, let's do that. Yeah, let's get rid of this. We get rid of this King Vulture. King Vulture. Okay, that was that. We forgot to break for two. Boom, we're back here. And now we are cruising. Oh no! Five. I don't think I moved this back from last time. I don't believe so. Ooh, break for five. One, two, three, four, five. And then they're gonna place this on here. Okay, so now anytime they have to place another cube onto here, they're gonna start getting two conservation every time they do it. Which is not like great for anybody. Okay, so now we can probably build, we need to build a big five enclosure. Yeah, we need to build a five enclosure. So let's, ooh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and build. We're going to pay 10 bucks and build a big fiver because this big old ostrich is going to go inside of it. Oh Lord, that's an issue. Hold on. We can't fit this anywhere. We can't fit this anywhere. This is an issue. <laughs> oh Lordy. Because to fit it anywhere, we would have to cover up one of these build spots, which we cannot do. Oh, stars, and we can't put it here. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to have to build, like, one thing and then build this. Oh, my lordy. That is not great. That's not great. I'm not going to lie. Oh man, that's such a bummer. And we just built this in a perfect way where this just barely doesn't fit anywhere. Oh, wow. And so if we go here, yeah, man, we're gonna have to build a one. We're gonna have to build a one. Ooh, that's horrible. We're gonna spend this entire five thing to build a one right there. And we can send something back down to one. I guess we'll send this animals back down to one since we can't, we're not gonna be able to do it. Oh, that's so silly. We literally have to build that there to give us a little bit of space. Oh, you know, let's not build a one then. Let's build a kiosk or something because I don't need a one. Yeah, let's build a... No, let's just build a pavilion. We're going to build a little pavilion. It's just going to give us blam. It's going to give us one appeal right away. Oh, that's so silly. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that's our life then. This is our life. <sighs> okay. Arno, what are you doing? One, nothing, one, nothing, six, nothing, six, Nick, four. Okay, break one. Uh, Arnold Rand takes a card from the display. They're gonna take a one. Okay, take that bow, nope, nope, sir. Take the bow constrictor. Uh, and they're gonna get conservation two. All right, fam, they are getting closer and closer. Although we could potentially start having some pretty big turns here in terms of conservation, which is good. Oh man, is that, we should get that card. We should really get that card. That'll be very good for us. 
Okay. Oh man, what to do here? Okay, association is max at one, two, three. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm so bummed out that we couldn't build. Should I just like, you know, it's already at number two. No, here, let's do this. We'll sponsor, we'll do a sponsor first. We're gonna do this uh, ornithologist. So each time a bird icon is played in any zoo, gain three bucks. I'll just gain three bucks right now because I just played a bird icon in the zoo. That's gonna move this down. And then now next turn, we're just gonna spend tokens that we're just gonna build because we just, I wanna get this bird token five. Ooh, they're gonna get three more conservation. Oh no, oh no. Oh, they're kicking my butt. Oh, that's a bad roll right there. Yeah, that's a horrible roll for me. Okay, uh, build. So we're gonna need to turn in two more of these. So we can build up to a fiver, and now we'll build this big old thing. We'll put it right, I wanna get this, this reputation, but we can't, so I'll put it right here. We're gonna get five bucks for covering up a fiver spot. Oh man, that's gonna cost us 10 bucks. Oh man, I, 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 that having to waste a turn to put this little pavilion down is absolutely crushing my heart. <laughs> it's crushing my heart. Um, four. They're gonna gain another partner, University. Uh, we'll do one through three, four through six, two. So they're gonna gain this one. Ooh, that's gonna help me though. Because every time, so that's gonna give me four bucks because every time a science tag is placed in a any zoo, I will get two bucks. Uh, they're also gonna flip a card over, so one through three. One, build. So now, does it just make everything bigger and better? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So for me now, I'll play animals. I'll play this bloody ostrich into this fiver spot. It's not even that great. It was just like, I wanted to get those bird tags. So it's going to be cost me 20 bucks. Actually, I guess, uh, 17 bucks because I have an African partner zoo. And then we'll get eight appeal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I get to draw two cards from the deck. Give me something cool. Not that cool. Um, I guess it's kind of cool, but not that great. Okay. All right. Well, now we can do that at the max. Ooh, okay. Okay. Arno. Five. Break one. Okay, they're gonna break. Takes a card from the display. Six. Oh no, I wanted this one. Darn, that was gonna be two conservation for me. I'm gonna get four bucks for it, which is nice. But I wanted that one. And they're gonna get two more conservation. Fam, they are close. I think I'm gonna get a right, a right whooping. A right whooping. Yeah, I'm gonna need more turns <laughs> than I'm gonna get, I think. Okay, uh, do I have to draw, I don't have to discard cards. Um, we don't need to put any universities because I'm already maxed out and they can only ever get that one. Um, and we have no new of these. Did I not associate at all in this last one? Wow, okay. Um, and then they did this. Okay, and then we are going to get rid of these two cards. Man, yeah, this is gonna be a bad game, fam. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a bit, a bit rough, a bit rough. Okay, and then we get our income. We're gonna get one conservation from here. And then we're going to get our um, appeal. Income is gonna be 25. At least we have a ton of money now. Okay. Now it's back to me. I'm gonna associate, because now I have one, two, three, four, five bird icons. So I'm gonna go bam, get five conservation. One, two, three, four, five, which is great. Sir, drunk. Okay. And then I can make a donation. Should I just make a donation? Yeah, you know, I think I have a ton of money right now. Let's just make a donation. It's gonna be 12 bucks to do 
Um, cause once you get out of here, you can always make a donation. We're gonna get one more conservation. I mean, here's the thing, fam. We're not that far. We're only like six away. Oh, we're pretty darn close. Oh, we're gonna be so close, I think. Oh man, Arno, don't, don't pass. Don't pass, <laughs> do not pass, go, please, please. Three, great, you didn't do that. One, two, three. And now that this is flipped over, oh no, it's only when this is flipped over, isn't it? Sorry, yep. So we go boom. Oh, we're gonna get two conservation. Oh, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, please. Oh man, I need association up to. Or should I just do that? Should I just do that? I should just do that, huh? I was gonna do that. That doesn't really matter that much. Oh but it might. Oh. So the thing is, I basically have two choices of, of um, sponsor cards. I can put this one in, which is gonna give me income for birds, but that doesn't really matter because we're probably not gonna have another income phase. But I will immediately get one appeal for every bird tag I have, which is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, which will be one, two, three, four, five. We'll probably up to here, which is good, but then this one allows me to do a conservation project with my association only being at four instead of five, which is really, really nice. And at the end of the game, I'll get one conservation if I have three universities, which I do. So that would be huge. But I think this one is the better choice. Oh, I wish I could do both, my lordy lord. Yeah, let's do this one. Oh, but no, no, but here's the thing. This one also has a science tag, which will give us a conservation. Let's do this one. We're gonna do this one. And we're gonna hope they don't go out this turn. <laughs> Although if they do go out this turn, we oh, this is gonna be a close one actually. It looked like they were really, really far ahead, but we're gonna be we're gonna be right in there. Although, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's go through it. We're doing this one. Because we have a science tag that immediately gives us one more conservation. Because we put in a science tag, that immediately gives us two bucks. Um, okay. And then now immediately for one, two, or three universities, we get two, five, or ten bucks. Uh, we will get ten bucks. We have three universities. So that's going to be good. Okay. Oh, Lord. Don't, don't go out right now. Arno, I swear, please, 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 please don't do it. Don't live this life. Oh, I didn't do this, did I? Nope. Don't live this life. Don't live this life. Don't live this life. Ah, oh, damn it, you're gonna live this life. Oh, crap, I think that's gonna kill us. I think that's gonna kill us. One, they're getting this car, sir. Actually, they don't get this car because they don't get, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you know what, hold on. I just realized they don't actually don't get this card, which actually doesn't hurt m me. I actually have six less bucks. I forgot, they don't get, um, they don't get, Sponsor cards, they just get discarded. But it's actually kind of nice, although it doesn't really help. It actually did kind of hurt me in, in the end. Um, and they're gonna get two conservations. Son of a, okay, so I have one turn. One, two, three, four, five. And I am, oh, nah, I'm gonna lose. I don't think I'm gonna win. Because did I even do this one? I didn't, I'm not even gonna get any points for my end game thingy. Are either one of these, gonna be more worth it to do, I don't think so. So I think I'm gonna have to do this. The problem is, is I'm gonna lose appeal by doing this, which means I'm not actually gonna cross. But I guess let's do it. Oh man, that sucks. Oh, I just needed them to wait like one more turn. And I think I could have pulled pulled out some cool stuff. Oh man, yeah, I needed, I needed yeah, I needed like two or three more turns and I would have been able to do some cool stuff because I also didn't get this one up here, which would have given me two conservation for this. If I could have got another partner, would have got let's, let's finish out, let's finish out. So we're gonna play this one. So release one Af uh, animal with an African icon back into the wild. Which one has the most appeal? They both have eight. So I guess we'll just do this ostrich, even though we spent so much to get it in there. We're gonna release you back to the wild. Bye ostrich, please have fun out in the Serengeti. Um, we're gonna lose eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be worth it. And we're gonna go boom. And because we released an animal of, okay, here, we can do this though. 
because we released an animal that was four or bigger in terms of their space, we will get the max points, which is going to be five. One, two, three, four, five. We also uncovered this one, which uncovers our last worker, boom, which actually gives us two more conservation, one and two. Oh God, it's gonna come down to the final scoring, although I don't think, oh, we got so close. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. So that is the end. Okay, okay, so that's the end. Let's see where the Arno's gonna get to. So they only get like one thing of end game scoring. Basically on here, you're gonna take away two of these, and then this is how many essentially times they did their scoring card. So in this case, they're gonna have done it, well actually hold on. They get one to f zero to four conservation points depending on the amount of, yeah, so they essentially are at this level, I suppose, right? I assume, because they have five, so they didn't quite make it to here. So they're gonna get one conservation for that. Um, oh man, I wish I had that one. I could have done that one really well. I think I had the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost. Um, for mine, I didn't do it at all. I needed water icons. I have one. I have a, a total, oh, I have two. Oh, I have two, I get one conservation. I forgot when I have one here. <laughs> Great. Eh. I don't think it's gonna matter. All right, and that's all they're getting. And if they had any cubes over here, they would get one point for one of those cubes, but they didn't get that. Oh, Lordy, we are close. I don't think we're gonna get three, I don't think we're gonna get three conservation right now, but oh, are we gonna pull this out? We're gonna be so close. Um, oh, we're not gonna do it, I don't think. Okay, so we do have three universities, which means we'll get one more conservation. Blam, we did cross, so that's good. This one is we need to have five different animal category icons, and I think we have four. We have one, two, three, and four. We didn't quite get there, so we're not getting that one. That would have made, I think, the difference. And this one's also for five different categories. Oh, I didn't realize we had two of these cards. Oh, no. We could have gotten two more, which would have put us here. Um, and I think we would have tied. I think we would have tied. Which means the Arno would have won. I think we would have tied. We did not get there. We got two. We got two the cross. Couldn't quite get there. We needed, yeah, we needed like one more turn. Yeah, because if I had one more turn, I could have paid X tokens, I think, to put in this card, which would have pushed us ahead. I'm glad we got this one off, that is good. But man, oh, we got so close. We got so, so close. All right, well that is, that is um, Arc Nova with the Arno solo variant. Um, it's really cool. Uh, I will say, uh, I guess we'll do a, a little review of it. I really like, I mean, I like Arc Nova. Arc Nova is like a potential top 10 game of all time for me. I really, really like it. We're gonna be doing our top 100 games this year um, at some point, and so we're gonna kinda have to see where it lands, but I think it's probably gonna be top 10, if not, definitely top 20. I really, really, really love um, Arc Nova. I think it's absolutely incredible. Um, and the solo variant that comes in the game is good. It essentially, Although it's kind of one of those solo variants that's just like, and I don't really mind these ones. I used to really hate them, but now I don't mind them that much. But it's kind of like, it's just the normal game. It's just kind of, you're, you're just more or less on a timer, basically is what it is. Um, I think you have like 27 turns or something like that. And you basically have to cross your markers in that amount of time. And that's basically it. There isn't really any difference. Um, and so if you want to just play Arc Nova, the solo variant's great because it's just that. You just sit there and you play Arc Nova and it's wonderful. Um, and you're just on a timer and so it's just kind of like the race of it is a little bit more stressful because you're trying to finish it up within time. This one though feels, again, more like you're playing against an opponent, which is the whole point. Uh, it does feel much, much more like, uh, it's a much more robust um, solo variant. You definitely have to like, do more stuff, although it's still pretty intuitive. It's pretty darn easy to do the quick stuff that they do. As you, as you know, if you watch any of our solo stuff, I don't like really, really involved solo variants. I don't like ones where I essentially feel like I'm having to play two different games. I just don't find it fun. Um, 
This one doesn't feel like that. This one, if there's any more going on, I think I wouldn't like it as much because I'm just like, at that point, I'm like, okay, we're getting, it's too much. We're getting, we're having to do too much here and I don't really want that. But in this case where it is now, I think it's, I think it's really, really good. This is one of the things like when, I guess if technically, but let's be honest, when Arc Nova gets an expansion, I kind of hope they would see this and, and, and talk to the person who made it and say like, hey, can we add this? Because I think it's a really good solo variant. I think it's really outstandingly done. And it is, the, the cards work well, the way it works. Um, I guess like the only thing, like, like having to constantly roll a die to do all the randomization, it's a little bit fiddly, but again, it's like, it's pretty darn quick. You just go like, oh, which one are they doing? Okay, boom, not doing that. Okay, boom, or I guess both of those. Okay, I guess all three of those, boom, they're doing three. That's the only time is we have to re-roll a bunch of gets a little fiddly. But for the most part, it's easy. Like, oh, they're taking a card. Okay, which card are they taking? Okay, boom, this one. And you just go like that. And I think that's really, really easy. Uh, it's again, it's a teeny bit fiddly, but it's just fine. It's it's kind of you're 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 dealing with a little bit of luck in terms of like what the Arno does in terms of like they might just keep rolling like if you know you flip over one of these cards that gives them a lot of conservation they just happen to roll it over and over and over and over again like sure it's probably going to be a rough time but like the two games I've played with the Arno here, the Arno's actually played like two really different games. Like the first one, like I said, they were like blitzing um, conservation and they were doing a bunch of these conservation projects. They put out two of their own conservation projects. So that was super interesting. In this case, they never did any of that. They didn't support any conservation, um, which is rude in my opinion, but they got all their partners. I think last time I played, I think they only got like one partner zoo. So it just, it just kind of depends on where stuff is landing. Um, and yeah, and I find that pretty darn uh, interesting in, in the way that it works. And even though it's, you're kind of doing, it's all randomized, it does feel like they're kind of playing a different game each time. I think it works really, really well. I honestly think if you like Arc Nova and you want to play it solo, definitely try this one out. It's on BGG. Again, there'll be a link down in the description below for it. Um, and it's really cool. It's just really, really well done. Um, and again, shout out to... to um, the person who made it, because again, it's just like, this is just so cool. This was just made by a fan of the game. I just think it's rad. And so um, that's Ark Nova Solo. I really like the normal version. I really, really like this one. Um, I don't think I would ever like add an Arno to a game. Like you can play you can play a two player game with two Arnos and have a four player game. I don't think I'd ever do that. I don't think this game like suffers at two. People again, people always say like, oh, there's not enough cards coming out. To me, I've never cared. It's never been that big of an issue in my opinion. Um, so like, I probably would never play Arno unless I was playing a solo game, but if I am playing a solo game, I think I'll probably always play this unless I just don't, I really don't feel like doing anything, any kind of maintenance, but nonetheless, it's really, really, really good. Um, yeah, it's odd. It's awesome. Check it out, uh, down in the description below. It's really, really cool. Print it out. Just a couple sheets of paper. That's it. It's awesome. So that was it. Full box, it's not empty, don't worry. This is full box, I'm just really strong, which is why I can hold it like this. That is a solo variant by Anke79. It's really, really cool. I think it honestly is better than the, the normal variant. That one is fine if you just wanna play Arc Nova and just play it on your own and just not have to worry about it. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna try and do this as efficient as possible. But this one is really cool. It's robust without being too robust for the point where I find it annoying to have to constantly keep track of the AI. It works very smoothly. I just think it's really, really cool. It's one of my favorite things about Board Game Geek is like how, and just board gaming in general is how active people are in things like this and things of like, hey, I made a play raid for this game that I really love. It's way better than the play raid in the game. Like, I just love stuff like that. I think it's super, super cool. And this solo variant is really, really good. Like, Anke79, please design games. You're good at this. <laughs> and so I think it's really, really fun. I think it's great. I hope it gets implemented in some kind of official way. I think it's really outstanding. But down in the comments, let me know what you thought of this solo variant and thought about the play in general. Down in the comments, there is a link to the, uh, the solo variant. Please click on that. Give it a thumbs up over on BGG because it's really, really cool. And yeah, that's going to be it. Let us know what else you'd like to see me or Mike when he kind of comes back from paternity leave, what you'd like to see us solo occasionally. We always want to solo more stuff, so just let us know. And until next time, that's going to be it, everybody. My name's Nick, and we'll see you later. Bye. 
Thank you so much for watching that episode, a solo episode of The Game House. Arc Nova is great, and make sure to check out the Arno variant down in the description below. We want to give a big shout out to our channel sponsors, Lucky Duck Games, Restoration Games, and Board Game Geek. And for the month of August, we are sponsored by ePaladin, one of the OG followers. Been here since the beginning. Absolute legend. Thank you so much for sponsoring us for the month of August. We really, really appreciate it. And you, make sure to check out the other videos on the right side of your screen. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Love you.